Hello, welcome to this channel Solid J's Workshop. Today's video will be about the Force Impulse Gundam. Once opening the box, you will find the needed pieces, decals and accessories. The instructions are quite clear and simple to follow. This being on the levels of the real grade 1 slash 144. This is scale being the most balanced and solid as far as details go when compared to the original design. The assembly of this Gumpla does have some specific quirks that make it stand out, at least according to my experience, as this model's initial piece is an attachment instead of a regular piece of its body, its pilot flying command station. On the Force Impulse chest there are some projectile based weapons serving for defense against enemy units. These weapons does remind me a similar system included on the Gundam Wing Zero since it also has a pair of shoulder mountain guns. Honestly, this Gunpla really surprised me by having some intricate and realistic details. Compared to the other real grade models, not only in isolated sections, but how cohesively it all comes together as a unit. Another one of its quirks is the different and fun ways it can be arranged, not just a humanoid like most others, but also in different schemes. While I haven't watched the series where this one comes from, Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny. Based entirely on looks, it happens to be one of my favorites, at least one of my top 10 of Gunfla projects so far. The kit has this couple of accessories. Firstly, the representation of high beam energy rifle at its main weapon which can be placed on its skirt armor and also physical anti-beam mobile shield this one can be used as is or be extended to increase defense both of these are updated versions of the similar ones found on the RX-78 2 as far as the gun style goes and the crest included on the shield Something I always appreciated is that, as far as the real grade line goes, is the included internal skeleton, making it feel firmer and less flimsy compared to the high grade ones. 
when both piecing it together and even when manipulating it for posing once it's done. Talking about ways this model stands out compared to the others, I also want to mention the way the internal and external pieces are completed in tandem, meaning limb by limb together. Instead of finishing the skeleton by itself and then moving on the armor and other more stylish details. Having mentioned it before that I'm not familiar with the anime, I can say that at least personally this hobby has made me want to expand my collection beyond just models I'm familiar with or will have nostalgic value, keeping my option open, seeking new opportunities for scale modeling projects. While relatively simple, the color scheme on this Gunpla happens to be quite pleasing to the eye, as it's plainly just three main ones, this being white, blue and red with a bit of yellow for accent as far as the body goes. universe, the contrasting factors between the regular Impulse Gundam and its Force Impulse version are the Force Silhouette pack and the elevated mobility it provides. Both are classified as general purpose mechs. It also has a couple of mountain beam sabers, elevating its effectiveness in close quarter combat. As seen here while combining it with the main body, it all becomes even more flashy and impressive, making it a standard Gunpla for any collection. As a hobbyist, one of the biggest challenges for this project was a test of patience when applying the decals and stickers. It was quite arduous and even repetitive, but to make things easier on myself, I went ahead and acquired a Marfit for my toolbox. While it was my first time using it, Despite my lack of experience with it, I can confidently say that it does make a positive difference. And despite initial reservation, it doesn't leave any residue when using it carefully. Being finally done with this Gumpla project, I can say that in general it's a well-rounded addition. In presentation, difficulty or assembly, the level of details and even its included accessories. I recommend it as a priority for any somewhat experienced scale modeling fan missing it from their collection. I doubt you end up regretting it. As far as critiques, I'd mention that the forearm joint is slightly loose while rotating it for general posing, but this is a small issue which can be forgiven because of the complexity of this movement, this being an unusual articulation compared to say an elbow or knee, a tiny cone compared to all the other pros that the Force Impulse Gundam has in its real great version. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did building it. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, commenting and giving us a like, as well as checking our other social medias. See you next time.